don't need any rain exactly for this reason we're about to tell you about the Cape Hatteras National Park Service reports that ramps 44 and 49 near Buxton remain closed due to flooding and quicksand like conditions now, sinking into quicksand can be a scary thing but first alert meteorologist Pierce Legion has more on what you can do if you find yourself stuck. Now, of course, the best thing to do is uh, try to avoid it altogether, but since quicksand often looks like solid ground, one misstep could have you sinking. Quicksand can happen just about anywhere under the right conditions, but is most often found near riverbanks and beaches. Most adults will only sink up to their knees or waist before the sinking stops. The number one thing to remember, don't panic. Wild movements will only make you sink even further. Next, drop anything you're carrying to make yourself as light as possible. The lighter you are, the less you'll sink. Also, leave your shoes. Having them on will only create suction that will make it harder to get out. Sit down and lie back, then slowly wiggle your feet toward the surface. Once you feel them start to come free, use your arms to slowly propel, propel yourself backward. Once you're near solid ground, roll toward your side, away from the quicksand to get to safety. Now, if you're in an area where there might be quicksand, carry a walking stick with you to test out the ground as you walk. Meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side.